Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. This video is a haul of a load of stuff I recently bought for the biggies, but not just any old haul. This is a super fibre haul. Before we get into it though, let's have a bit of background. So if you've been following us lately, you'll know that my piggy Lyra was recently unwell and it was pretty scary to be honest. She suffered from an episode of bloat followed by gut stasis, which is where the digestive system starts to shut down and doesn't process food properly. Now, this can be fatal in guinea pigs, but with medication and syringe feeding, Lyra started to improve and I cannot tell you how relieved I was. But it's taken well over a week for her digestion and her pooping to get back to normal. And in that time, I've been doing a lot of research into guinea pig diets and what really is best for them, especially guinea pigs who are older and more susceptible to health problems, as well as those that have have sensitive digestions. The quick answer to that question of what's best for guinea pig diets is fibre. And fibre usually means hay, which should actually make up 80% of what a guinea pig eats. But having the same old hay there all the time can get boring for some piggies. So this haul is all about adding variety and trying to get my piggies to eat more fibre. And there'll be a few extra products at the end of the haul which I've bought recently, which are useful for any guinea pigs suffering from digestive problems. After Lyra being poorly, I'm actually really looking forward to see what the guinea pigs think of everything I've got them. And we're going to unbox everything in the cage with the piggies there. So let's get straight into the first item. Orchard grass hay. <laughs> I've never tried orchard grass hay before, but I've read that it's a high fiber hay suitable for adult piggies, that it contains lower levels of calcium and that it's quite soft too compared to other hays. Wow, immediately I'm impressed. That sort of looks like Timothy. It's got the same nice green, but it's almost like all the best bits from the Timothy. <laughs> all the little leafy bits that they go for first. Onto the next box. I've just been feeling them all, trying to guess what might be in each package. And I think I've got it right, but I'm not too sure. Oh, what's in there, Phoebe? Everyone is fascinated by the box. <laughs> so first up in here, we have these Naturals Meadow Hay Cookies. And um, everyone is just trying to get in the box right now. And on the side here, it's got some advice about feeding them. It recommends for guinea pigs one per pet. And it states that obviously they're intended to be in addition to unlimited loose hay that your guinea pigs can forage and nibble on as well. So let's see what they think of these. You can see how they're not as good as proper hay, but because they're in a slightly different format, the guinea pigs might like to chew on this in the meantime, and I can put them in different areas around the cage too. These two are straight in there. They didn't even hesitate, they just started eating. That is everyone really enjoying them. <laughs> The downside to them is they will make a big mess. And if you've got fleece, probably a good idea to have a pad down <laughs> wherever the hay cookie is. And up next, I went for a small oat hay, again from Oxbow. And again, just to try another sort of hay that we haven't had before. I read that oat hay is more stalky. It has a high fiber content of 32% and is really good for guinea pig teeth. So we can see this looks really quite different. It's a lot starkier, although it still feels kind of soft. Yeah, it does actually still smell really nice and fresh. And the color is probably down to the type of grass rather than freshness. Um, but I suspect because it's more starky pieces, they might not like it as much. Are we having a nibble, Phoebe? I don't know, she's kind of going for it. 
I think this will be kind of nice to feed a little bit now and again alongside their other haze. And that's the whole idea of getting these different ones really in small amounts is to just give them a bit more variety and a bit more interest in the hay that they're eating. The last thing in here, which is these Timothy blend cubes. No chewing the plastic, please. I just noticed that it calls them Timothy blend, which I was under the impression that they were 100% Timothy. But it actually says sun cured Timothy hay and sun cured alfalfa hay. That's a bit annoying, really. Um, I had these as an alternative because they didn't have the small pet select ones. I'll probably let them have a little bit now and again. But because they've got the alfalfa in, it's kind of not ideal, really. Next up is a big one. So first of all, we have this bag of pellets. Now, I've always fed my guinea pigs Burgess XL pellets and I've been happy with them. But when I was researching into a diet for guinea pigs who might be more prone to bloat and other digestive problems, I read on the forums that switching to or combining with a grain-free pellet might help prevent bloat in the future. So that's why we've got this, which is Selective Naturals Grain-Free Guinea Pig Food Made with Timothy Hay. This is what they look like. I just put some in the bowl there and I think Phoebe's eating them but her cheeks are so chunky that I can't see past them. <laughs> oh well that's promising. And in the bottom of that big box was this bag of Timothy hay, which is from Katie. <laughs> now, I think I've possibly tried every single brand of Timothy hay out there, but it is widely referred to as the best hay for guinea pigs and one of the hay's highest in fiber with 30 to 34% fiber content. It looks pretty nice and fresh, though possibly a bit stalkier and a bit less green. It seems to get the seal of approval. <laughs> However, I am put off by the fact that it doesn't really smell nice and hay smelling like the others do. And also the strands are quite short. So for example, when I was putting it in the wood roll here, I had to kind of pack it in quite well to make sure it didn't just fall out all loose. Phoebe's walked off. Hmm, unusual. <laughs> So yeah, I don't think we're quite feeling that one as much and we're probably going to stick to the Haybox Timothy, which is the best one that we've found, to be honest, so far. And also the best value as well. Mysterious blank package. Ah, I know what this is. So this is some ready grass, which is freeze dried grass that can be given as a treat for piggies. Now it's not the best for fiber, it does have a lower content than hay, but guinea pigs are usually really big fans of it, so a small amount can be beneficial for their appetite, especially in older piggies. Grown exclusively in Yorkshire, which is good because I've got so many hays that have been imported from the US, which isn't really the greatest thing to be doing. We are down to the last box. Yeah, when we said we tried nearly every brand of Timothy hay out there, maybe we actually have now. <laughs> yeah, we've got some more Timothy hay. And this actually does say that it's um, premium first cut. So it is going to be starkier, but it'll be interesting to see what the piggies think. It's very nice and green and very tasty looking. I've just done a bit of an experiment here and put all the different haze out. So Lyra's chosen to munch on the ready grass. That is the Katie Timothy. No one's going for that. That is the Nibble and Gnaw first cut Timothy. That one is the orchard hay. Phoebe was having a little munch on the oat hay, but now she's going, oh, you. <laughs> you go for the orchard grass. No, nope, the Timothy. Oh, we can't decide. 
Oh, we're going for the orchard grass. Okay, so I've also got three products which are useful for guinea pigs recovering from digestive problems. And the first one I had already, and it is Fiberplex, which is a probiotic containing good bacteria to help their digestive system when they're recovering. Lyra had this, she had three doses a day. And then whilst Lyra was ill, I also got some more probiotic. This is the Pro C one, which my vet actually recommended because it's got vitamin C in it. This again has got gut stabilizers and good bacteria, which help the digestive system get back on track. And then the third one is this Oxbow Natural Science Digestive Support. And Lyra did actually like these. I couldn't get her to eat a whole one at once, but um, now that she's got more of her appetite back, she's eating most of one at once. It does say one per guinea pig per day and they do a whole range of ones vitamin c ones and joint support ones and um, you might already know about them but if you don't it might be worth looking into them if you've got senior piggies for example and those and any of the other products that i would recommend to people will be going in my amazon storefront which you can find the link to in the description below and it's basically recommendations of all guinea pig products that we've tried and tested all in one place and as it's through amazon I would earn a small commission if you ordered through them so thank you in advance if you do. So that is everything for this video guys I hope you enjoyed seeing the guinea pigs react to everything and I will update you via Instagram how everything goes and which products they enjoy most. As always thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much to everyone who already is and we will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.